What was your favourite snack to eat in the villa? Apart from Lucy, God, these really are all about snacks, aren't they? I love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm George and this is Snacks on the Beach with Cosmopolitan. I've got a text. <laughs> hey George, which biscuit best describes you as a person? Um, I would say, you know the Oreos with the chocolate around the outside, I think it's orbed or something. You get from Tesco. Hard on the outside, but then when you break into them in the middle, it's a nice sort of soft. You know the Kit Kats, you can get the Kit Kats chunkies, white chocolate. Um, I wish Maltesers would do a white chocolate version. Well, I do like the ones with brown chocolate on the outside as well, but I'm going through sort of a white chocolate phase at the moment. I like everything white chocolate. I don't really like Nestle, to be honest, but strawberry laces, but you know the ones with that sort of white thing in the middle? Yeah, those. My go-to meal deal would be... Firstly, I'd have to go for the Innocent Smoothies because they're like three quid and you think that you've got like a real bargain there. So definitely put one of those, even if I didn't drink it. It's just so I feel like I've got one up on Tesco. Yes. Then I would go for... Sweet Chili Snack Wrap. Because you can toast them as well. Depending on how many bags of crisps I've, eat, I've eaten that day, um, I would probably go for either prawn cocktail walkers or I'd go for a chocolate bar instead. Cadbury's, they have um, this marvellous creations I think it is, it's got like popping candy and jelly in. I really like that, yeah definitely I'd rate that, so yeah, that would be my ideal meal deal. God these really are all about snacks aren't they, I love it. <laughs> What's your favourite bar snack? Um, I would say peanuts, so a beer, a nice cold beer and a pack of peanuts. Or actually popcorn. I've been going to this new bar recently near where I live and they've started selling, it's like an American diner and they've started serving like a pot of popcorn with your beer. It's really nice, so yeah. If you were a type of Chris, what would you be and why? Easy, prawn cocktails, walkers. I just like the taste, it's just a bit different, a bit weird, so I'm a bit weird as well. So we sort of make a perfect match. So what was the best thing about being on Love Island? I'd say one of the best things about being on Love Island would be you could sort of eat when you wanted, there was a fridge full of snacks. Um, you can make toasties, cheese and ham toasties, omelettes, pancakes. Um, I didn't actually make pancakes, I'm sort of making that up. Yeah, ignore the pancakes bit. We did talk about making pancakes, but I don't think that actually had any flour, so. Tell us your favourite type of nut. Um, pistachios and cashews as well, but pistachios definitely. <laughs> Tesco started doing pistachios out of the shell. But then you'd have to muck about with the sort of waste product. But yeah, no, definitely pistachios. What snacks do you have when you go to the cinema? Ah, uh, so popcorn, maybe some nachos, and I have a tango ice blast. You know, the mixed one, I think it's ch um, cherry and whatever. But yeah, the mixed. So halfy half. I also would usually have a bag of Haribo and Maltesers. Oh, I haven't actually tried mixing my Maltesers into my popcorn, but you know what, that does sound like a great idea. I think maybe we should be going to the Odeon after this, so you can sort of show me what you do with your snacks. Maltesers or minstrels? Oh, that is a difficult one, but I'm gonna have to go with Maltesers, although you can get Revels, which does have a mixture in, also although they're obviously not, they're like minstrels but without the shell on, which is quite nice. But the only thing is you do have those coffee and orange flavoured ones in that you obviously can't, you don't want to mistake for the toffee ones, which are the nicest in there. If I had to give him a snack for our reunion, I know he likes toasties, but obviously we have to make toasties a different way because we don't actually have a proper toasty. So I'd make him a special um, toasty in an actual toasty maker. He'd really appreciate that because obviously the cheese would melt a lot more within the toast and sort of be dripping out and all stringy, you know, when you pull a toasty apart. So I reckon you'd really appreciate that. What was your favourite snack to eat in the villa? Um, apart from Lucy, ah, oh, the cereal. Sometimes I had these like chocolate cereals, um, but they didn't last long, so they were sort of everyone's favourite go-to cereal in there. Yeah, it was a special Spanish one. I don't know what it was called, but it was like chocolate balls. If you like what you saw today, subscribe to Cosmo's YouTube channel.